good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the visit of Western Armenia delegation to various districts and shrines continues. The international reaction of the Azerbaijan forces to extremely cruel acts was insufficient. The area ombudsman within the framework of UN session. Denial of the genocide of Armenians in Turkey gets a new manifestation. A residential quarter is being built for Karintak residents. Historical places of Western Armenia Charek Monastery. The Bible published in Venice in 1733 has been restored. Little days will be organized in Artsakh under the motto, The Voice of Life. The delegation of Western Armenia visited the Gerleri Gerzenka waterfall, one of the unique natural wonders of Western Armenia. They went to the village of Dermenli. An Armenian church was also found in this village, on the walls of which there were still Armenian inscriptions. From there, our delegation went to various settlements in the province of Dersim, where there were some half-destroyed churches. Unfortunately, due to lack of time, it was impossible to see all the Armenian shrines, the existence of which was confirmed by local residents. There are still Armenian churches named after the Virgin in Mariam, in various localities of Dersim province. We consider it necessary to know that all these churches were built in a place of temples of our Lady God Anahid. During this period we know of 18 similar churches. There were also many churches on the basis of which mosques were built. During the mission in Dersim, our delegates stopped at a rock that called the Depths of Massacre. In 1915, a large number of Armenians were thrown for the top of the rock, and this way the name originated. It should be noted that a few years ago, a ceremony of commemoration of the victims Victims of genocide of Armenians was held at this place, which was also attended by Western Armenian MP Mihran Parkic. The next point of the trip was the once Armenian populated province of Hozat in Dersim, where the most remarkable was the open air museum. It shows paintings depicted the Dersim massacre in 1938, which indicated that the people killed were indigenous to this region. The most memorable and impressive visit of this day was perhaps a visit to the cold mountain springs. This is a holy place where pure springs come from the breast of the rocks, which in fact symbolize the milk of Godness Anahit. There is such an energy here that it's impossible to describe only in words. This holy water sums up all the power of Mother Anahit. In the evening, the deputies and their residents visited the office of Armenian platform Dersim, where Western Armenian citizens from Dersim were also present. An exchange of views took place in a warm atmosphere. Questions were asked and answered. The President and Prime Minister of Western Armenia also made some speeches. Western Armenia constantly conducts consistent work on war crimes that took place during the 44th day of Artsakh War in 2020, and after it, that various high-ranking Western Armenia officials declare on a number of international platforms. The area human rights defender Kristina Grigorian also touched upon the latter, making a video message to the discussion with a UN special reporter on extrajudicial summary or arbitrary death sentences held within the framework of 50th session of the UN Human Rights Council. In her message, the defender praised the work done by the special reporter, stressing the need to strengthen the mandate of reporter and provide additional resources. The Ombudsman of the Republic of Armenia touched upon the international reaction during the hostilities in Artsakh in 2020. In concluding her speech, the defender stressed the need for more visits to the region of special reporter, emphasizing the need to get acquainted with the situation on the ground as a guarantee of the effective implementation of the mandate. The policy of denial of the genocide of Armenians in Turkey continues at all levels. In addition to state policy and propaganda, the policy of denial has also moved to the field of foundations. A number of anti-Armenian structures have united and created a Tekar Foundation, an abbreviation meaning a foundation studying the Turkish-Armenian theme. Its main goal was declared to the fight against the allegation of the genocide of Armenians. The first general meeting of third fund, which has received a new registration, will be held on June 25th and thus the legal procedure for the formation of Tekar will be completed. The foundation has also developed a work plan in which it is noted that they want to assure the correct chronological sequence by presenting the event in 1914-1924 with healthy approaches. Naturally, the healthy approach means to justify the genocidal policy of Ottoman state at any cost. Western Armenia remains true to its values and will continue to fight both for recognition of the genocide and against the denial. A residential quarter for displaced Karintak residents is being built in a community of Naragyuk in the Askeran Regional Republic of Artsakh. Construction work are actively on the way. The work began in October 2021. 145 mansions are being built there, said Arushan Khachatryan, Chief Specialist of the Capital Construction Development of the Ministry of Urban Development. 
She is specialist of the Capital Construction Department or the Ministry of Urban Development. According to him, it is planned to complete the construction of 60 mansions this year. It should be recalled that the village of Karintak had a very great military significance and during the first and 44th day war in Artsakh. For a strategic position, the enemy mainly provided special forces troops for this territory, against which the brave Armenian servicemen and volunteers fought. During the 44th day war, the village of Karintak was occupied by Azerbaijan and the inhabitants were moved to different regions. Charek Monastery, one of the most renowned monasteries in the region of northern Artsakh, Charek, is situated on the left bank of the river Shamkor, 7 km southeast of the district center of Getabek. It consists of a church, Natrex Partio, a double floor belfry, and a chapel and some annexes. As early in the middle 1980s, one of the inscriptions on the monastery and a cross stone kept there were deliberately damaged. There are many cases in Western Armenia when Turks and their indigenous people in Armenian territories damage or change Armenian culture values. Its purpose is one, the fear of retribution, and will happen sooner or later, of which the Turkish leadership is well aware. Within the framework of the corporation of Matina, they are named after Mesrop Mashtot and Matina Deravacha and Tamar Manukyan of the Mothers of Holy Age Magazine periodically carry out work to restore damaged books, thanks to which the ancient books of Matina Deran of Holy Age Magazine are saved from physical destruction. It is reported for the Matina Deravacha and Tamar Manukyan that, thanks to the appropriate work, the Bible for Matina Deran of Age Magazine, printed in Venice in 1733, was updated and got a new life. The long term corporation of the new Matina Deras continues. Joint events are also planned for the near future. It should be recalled that in 1815s, Catholic Armenians were representatives of the Vatican in the Ottoman Empire, who were constantly subjected to their oppression by the Sultan for preserving their identity. From June 26 to July 3rd, little days called the Voice of Life will be organized in Stepanakert, the capital of Artsakh and other regions, within a framework of which there will also be cultural events. Writers and literary critics will visit Armenia to Artsakh in order to exchange solar experiences, literary evenings, exhibitions and concerts, talks, meetings and lectures on the modern literature of Artsakh will be organized within a framework of the event. The opening of the event will take place on June 27th, said the head of the Artsakh Office of the International Armenian Education and Culture Union, Avakian. There are probably a lot of culture and sport events in Artsakh, of which we can mention Konifa football matches, in which Western Armenia also participated with great honor. Now, musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.